So I'm so excited. I'm I'm here with Kelly. Kelly, we talked on the phone a couple of weeks ago. You're over this particular community in Salina and a couple other upcoming developments for Olivia Clark Homes. But what I was really impressed with is tell us about Olivia Clark Homes because you guys are relatively new, but I'm impressed with this home that I just toured. Oh, that's great. Thanks so much. So the wonderful thing about Olivia Clark Homes, it came out of the idea of needing a female inspired presence in especially in Texas, a male dominated area for sure. 100%. Um, our owner had worked for 20 years in this industry in various capacities with the, a couple builders in particular, and she decided to venture out, God love her, in the midst of a pandemic. And oh, I didn't even think about that. Think so it's about been that. about three years? Three years. So in the middle of Holy a pandemic, cow. she decided to do this. So if you can just imagine, there were a lot of people who just thought, well, maybe she's been inside too long. <laughs> <And> then, <Right. laughs> this is what's happened. Yeah, she's new to She came out there. I've known her for a very long time, Jennifer Clark. And um, uh, we all got together and felt so strongly about her idea and needing that in our homes these days that we definitely very much supported all of that and have worked very, very hard to get this up and going. Um, we've probably done about $50 million worth of business in the last maybe 21 months. Um, we've sold out of three communities so far and we are rocking and rolling and getting ready to move into some other communities and you can see the homes are beautiful. I, I, I'm just impressed with the quality of a home, but even more than that is your name is popping up in some of the most desirable yes, master yeah. plan communities. So. Um, for those of you, and I know a lot of friends and family on the West Coast, it's really competitive with builders. We have over 150 licensed builders. We have national that you can actually probably buy on the stock exchange. Yes. And it's really hard. And you guys are positioned in one of the most competitive price brackets. Yes, we are. Where you're not full custom, but you guys are building inventory. So you have to make sure you're building something at a price that people want. Yes. Because the market yes. would speak. And if you guys were building something that was... Um, too pricey or that wasn't of quality, you'd have a backlog and you'd be burning through homes and incentives. But I was impressed. You guys have done a great job with the finish out, but you guys are here in Salina and actually going to be in the fields, which is by far one of the most exclusive communities. Yes. So you're doing something right. Talk to me about what we'll see as far as like this dining or touches you're kind of talking about through the home. What is a female Well, when I say female mean? influence, it means we actually have things like linen closets. I know that's novel. Yeah. Um, uh, large pantries, kitchens yeah. that flow very well, the family living areas that flow very nicely together. The floor plans are really designed by her to um, speak well for the home and for living well, as many of her um, marketing, docu marketing documents uh, show. And you can definitely feel that. We have uh, ceilings that are higher. We have that open feel. Uh, there's outdoor living in the front and in the back. There's um, there's things that we know that are going to make our homes work well for our families. And 100%. And, and I, I would say firsthand, um, and you guys know even on some of these tours, I, I will point out builder imperfections I see. But I would really say what, what impresses me and the reason I really appreciate you taking a little time to be interviewed um, is that it feels different at this price bracket. You eventually get to a point um, a million and above in North Texas where, right. yes, you'll see a lot of design variation. But usually the sub a million luxury tier, um, I don't want to name builders, but there's a class of sure. about six or seven builders. You could spin mm -hmm. on a wheel, walk into their house, you, you know, strip it of the brand and you wouldn't know which builder you're in. But I feel this is very distinct and right. I feel some of that emphasis mm -hmm. on um, architectural design. And that's what I think my clients are looking for mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. not every three to 4,000 square foot home is built the same. You right. get an odd small bedroom or weird sized bathroom mm -hmm. or the master is undersized. And you really, or a closet, like you said, or a pantry that doesn't almost exist, right? right, right. And those spaces feel misdesigned. So I, I'm in love. I mean, this might be my next yeah. home, uh, with all sincerity. So I okay. really appreciate Thank you time. so much. It was great Thank to you meet so you face-to-face. -face. I know we've talked, but this yeah, is great. Yeah, you've been a great appreciate. resource. Thank so you. come out and check them out up here in Salina or contact me. Still going to be a couple months, but eventually they'll be in the fields and an exciting product there. Yes, so, so much going on. All thanks. right, thanks, Kelly. Okay. Okay, so you have to forgive me, we've got construction behind, um, but I am gonna do audio. Um, we're in uh, Salina, we're looking at Olivia Clark. Um, this beautiful home in front of us is a three bedroom, two bathroom, one story uh, that has 2,500 square feet. So the sales agent, Kelly, who's been with Olivia Clark since they started three years ago, and I were talking, and, and a common problem we have in market is, a lot of time your three bedroom, two bathroom homes 
um, feel very entry level for the community. So this home is still um, finishing out, but one thing that I'm expecting to see is a, a home that doesn't feel entry level for a mature buyer. So maybe an empty nester or someone that's just early in the family phase and they want some space because a lot of times in these really nice, <laughs> as the uh, alarm trips at me, but a lot of times in these master plan communities, if you want three bedroom, two bathroom, or three bedroom, even two and a half bathroom, you end up getting and compromising um, and getting a small starter home essentially. And some families wanna go up in size of home, but they don't necessarily wanna go up in bedrooms and bathrooms. They don't wanna have a five bedroom, um, four bathroom or more space. So this is an interesting opportunity and we'll see how it lays out. I immediately am taken by the 10 foot ceilings. Um, we've got tall baseboard and uh, corner windows. In this front bedroom. Common to see in 3-2, we have the two bedrooms across from each other, but we have dual sinks, which is good. And this is the bath space. Okay. Go into this. Nice. Both bedrooms are oversized. I don't know the exact dimensions, but good size bedrooms. We do, uh, they haven't finished it, the home yet, but we have a wood floor product, which is good. We've got a uh, coat closet through here. Oh yeah, this feels very spacious. So we have really tall ceiling. And we've got a large patio. And there is our kitchen space. So we have a nice sized living room area. hiding uh, the exhaust system, which is upgraded. It's a nice Whirlpool appliance. This is probably out to our garage space and our laundry. So our laundry and our garage space. Um, now let's take a look. Good sized pantry. Especially for a 3 2, it's hard to find a pantry that's gonna have this much space. And let's see, we've got true dining, dedicated dining space, which is good. And I like the I like the windows, window choices they've made. Yeah, and this is a large primary for a three bed, two bath. And let's see see how the bathroom looks. It's a really large glass, um, not completely frameless, but uh, it's got a sitting bench. So this home is in the high 500 thousands and this is the closet space. Yeah, this is extremely rare to see a closet this size in a three bed, two bath home. So yeah, I will give Olivia Clark um, Holmes um, some credit that, well, it would be nice if, if there was like a, a wood border and maybe they can add it. Um, obviously for this particular home they didn't, but. Some of the design choices they have, like the linen that's straight ahead of us, this oversized extra wide shower, um, it definitely, and then the large closet. And if you just look at the width here, anyone that's been in Texas with a three bed, two bath, and the uh, extra space here in the primary, and just the actual dining space here, they definitely did 
add more space um, to kind of, uh, and they reimagined a traditional home design. So I'm very impressed. Um, again, this is not a model home. They're trying to finish it out, but I think if someone came through with furniture and a really good artistic touch, you'd be really impressed with this. We've got the two bedrooms on the front. We actually have a little dedicated office space off to the left. Um, this nice uh, walkway, hallway to our living space and kitchen. And we've got our laundry space, oversized pantry, and that opens up directly into our kitchen. So let me know what you think. I think it's a great space. Um, it's still, you know, uh, on entry level of luxury in the mid 500s. So, um, and Salina is a, a really up and coming community. So this is a, a really good option for the right, right family.